All right, I tapped the button and killed it. So I'm gonna put you right there. We're gonna drill and tap this ring real quick. Hopefully, it don't go flying across the room. Well, my battery goes dead before I can get through it. Tip, don't ever uh, water a hole with a drill bit if you're going to tap it, make it tight as possible. Alright, now where the hell did I set that tap down at? I swear, I spend more time looking for shit because I set it down and I can't find it. So, what did I do with it? What did I do with my tap? It's not right there. It's not right there. Well, hell. Where did I set it at? There's the ratchet and shit I used. Where did I set the tap at? This is why it takes me so long to do shit, because I just get rattle-brained and set something down. And then I forget where I put it. I usually try to throw everything in the top drawer of this box when I'm working on something. Uh, so then when I go back, I know everything's laying in here. But obviously, I didn't do that this time. Or it'd be laying here. Uh... Should have been laying right here on top. And it's not. Oh, lordy, 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 lordy. Did I put it in my pocket? No, I did not put it in my pocket. Did I leave it laying up here on the motor down there? Hmm. Well, you might get to see me tap it tonight. You might not. If I don't find the damn tap. Under the truck. Let's see, I walked over here. I got ye all on the sweeper. And I second guessed that and said no because it'll make so much noise. What the fuck are you gonna do with the tap? I'm serious, this is ridiculous. Where did I set the damn tap down at? Huh. Well, ain't that about a brain dead move? Mm. I've been in a little bitty 10 square foot area and I can't find a damn 3 8 pipe tap. It ain't right there. Crash light. It ain't in there. Not up there. Not laying right here. I mean, good grief, where could I have put it? This irks me. I mean, honestly, where did I set it? And I'm bad about that. I'll set something down again, and I'll forget where I put it. I had to have set it in this damn drawer. And it's probably laying here and blending in, and I just... Tired and don't see it. Exactly. It was under a damn plastic bag. Alright, let's do this again. Um, we don't need all the extensions.
make the thread. I go to about halfway down. That's not good on caps either. I'll set it right there so I know where it's at. Are you still with me? Yeah, you're still with me. Born you to death. All right. Clean that up. While I'm out here, I'll just go ahead and put this other sender in this ring. Then it's done, and we're going to call it a night. I'm starting to get tired. Grandson will be up at the crack of dawn. Wife will wake me up when she gets up at 6 anyway to get ready to go to work. She's a uh, private duty tomorrow. For a Jewish lady she's been caring for for quite a while. My wife does a lot of RN and home nursing in the Jewish community. She has built a very good reputation. I'm not trying to say anything bad, good, or any indifferent, but they pay very well. My wife makes very good money. When I used to work, I made very good money till EMS. Now, let's see if I got enough tape on this. Till the EMS made it a liability, and the medication I take made it a liability. I'm way off on that. I say it. Probably educated guess. Let's try three four. Hey, hey, hey. Right there. Nice and small. Recycle that's ten drive shaft. So that's all done. It's in there, all good to go. So, that's all good. I'll probably end up having to put a new O-ring in this side and put a new O-ring in the hat, but it's all right. I got a whole bag of them, but that's all done. I'll take you over a little closer. It went in at a little bit of an angle. But I had to because I had to go around this. You can see I scuffed the top of it just a hair with the drill. I'll vacuum all that out inside. But it went in. A lot of material in there for the threads. I just got to vacuum it out. Then I'll tape that up and put it in. And then I'll have my sending unit below the carburetor and above the carburetor. So I can watch charger attempts. You know, everything on car, everything ain't got to be straight. Something a little crooked once in a while is good. Gives it character. So... I'm going to stuff something in the turbos because I don't need a bird or squirrel or ground squirrel or something coming in here and going up in here and making a home or shit and there's something in there. And I'm going to call it a night. Everybody, thank you for sitting through all this, watching me do this for 40 plus minutes and another 10 minutes. Uh, but as soon as we get the rest of the stuff here, which is the blow off valve and the springs, uh, I'll probably go ahead and leave it like this, change the gates out since it's easier to get to them now. And uh, get the springs changed, get them changed. And then we'll put it all back together and we'll take it out and beat on it. And then I can get in here and get all this stuff wired up without the charge pipes in the way. Trying to fish wire and wire loom and it'll work out better that way. So everybody stay safe. Uh, God bless. And uh, when I get back out here, I'll put some more up on the truck and then we'll get it out and drive it. If it don't rain us out, not this weekend, but next weekend. Or maybe in the middle of the week. Might get it off on my son's day off, which is, I think, Wednesday or Thursday. If it ain't raining, we're going to get it out. We've already made that decision. As soon as that blow-off valve gets here, it'll take two minutes to put it on, and then we're going to get it out. So, again, God bless. Stay safe. And uh, I'll put some more up later.